my attention. It's like they're blowing up all over invite. It's worse than all those cat videos. your horses i'm looking through my kitty feeds now man ladies and gentlemen Snowflakes. pervert cold fucking menace let's wreck his world that time i got a never-ending supply okay 
so when can we meet? Because I need something new for the weekend. Uh, prices are going up, Chris. This is the exclusive material I'm providing. One customer, one kid. Where'd you go? I'm right here. No, not you, Grizz. Do you have the footage or not? Yeah, yeah, I know everything's cool. Um, uh, on second thought, I got another kid in mind for you. Lost my fucking train of thought. You were talking about bankrupting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is primo. Oh, hold on, Grizz. Ah, what the fuck are you doing, Grizz? I didn't do anything. Fuck me! Grizz, are you still there? Trial labor piece of shit! Six, eight, eleven? Jesus, everyone wants preschoolers. Once they hit grade school, they're too fucking old. On my headset's on the fritz again. I gotta hit the store. Really? Cool. Did you get all that? Yep. Jesus Christ. I wish I could reach through the camera and strangle that guy. Don't worry. This footage is already circulating. Society will do the strangling soon enough. Marcus, one of our latest followers sent me this. Consider it a follow-up on home CEO. Yo, check it. I was on the treadmill when this pissy-looking guy came up with the trainer and kicked me off. Dickhead looked familiar, so I asked around the gym. It was Steven Bader, the guy in charge of home. I guess waiting for a treadmill is too lowly for rich assholes like him. What would you guys think about shooting a little exercise fail video starring the CEO of Home? Steven Bader? I'd love to have another go at humiliating that pompous ass. Why an exercise video? Peeping Steve is at the gym right now. Buckle in and get ready for a show, my friend. <laughs> Christmas is coming early this year. Okay, there's our CEO. I hope he enjoys the workout we're about to give him. Knock him off his cankles. You get all that? Marcus, that was the most beautiful thing I've experienced today. Sending the video out. The sheer beauty of a douchebag falling on a treadmill could bring peace to the world. <laughs> Since when do you want peace? I mean metaphorical peace. We have a movie about
proprietor of smart houses in the Bay Area is facing allegations that it violated homeowner privacy. Leaked documents reveal that home is selling private user information, primarily to health insurance companies, by accessing their own monitoring system. Spokesperson for the company, Elena Chow, said that the information sold isn't in any way breaching users' privacy and that all of this information is available on the company's end-user license agreement. All right, got the password. You marked Proper Blue on my map? Sure did. You sure? You, you sure you got it right? It, it might have changed. God damn it, Marcus. <laughs> he ain't gonna let this one go. And forget about the game when it's actually complete. Just show me the final game and okay. then talk. And then what, bitch? <laughs> okay. I shall. This guy has it all, am I right? Yeah. Passed out drunk really says, I'm king of the world. There, you got access? Analyzing the data now. You sure you're doing it right? Is it the latest data? Oh, ha, ha. That was funny the first time, Marcus. Now it's just douchey. Oh, wow. Basically, they're monitoring every single purchase. Buy some fast food or a beer or chips, and they immediately bump your rates. That's their risk clause for you. You risk getting ripped off. Better tweak their algorithm, I say. Already on it. Now, anytime someone does those things, their rates go down. I want to fuck with the CEO and CFO directly. Looks like they use a limo service. You can track their cars. I've marked the place.
Installing malware. Got the GPS data on both the CFO and CEO. CFO first. What'd I get? Plenty of banking info for one. Golden. Set up his own goddamn insurance rates. Then every time he hits his favorite martini lounge, he gets ding. Done. Now I'm going after the CEO. How about this guy? You got his discreet encounters login, and he has a way. She might be interested to know about this. Why not add her email address to his account? She'll get confirmation emails for every encounter. God, this is fun. Negotiator movie we saw. Remember that one? The negotiator tries to be all. Hey, Retro, what's up? Just killing time, you? I was hoping to catch my cousin here, but he didn't show. I think we might have something for DeadSec. Oh, yeah? I'm listening. He buys his weed from the anti shoes. Has for years. So he's gotten close to a couple of them. He heard them talking about a deal with the Broadvest to move product. Yeah, I don't think DeadSec's got a horse in that race. He doesn't think it's drugs this time. They're moving people. Okay, that changes things. 
Where can I dig into this? I'll send you a location where the shoes hang out. Somebody there will know more. I just learned about some kind of gangster swap me. Shoes and Bratva. Why do you want to anger two different homicidal crime groups at the same time? Because everybody loves a vigilante. Actually, public opinion is pretty mixed on them. Not for Dead Sex Target audience. We keep making trouble for the indisputable bad guys. We gain followers. It's easy math. Your math is sound there. I'm gonna pay the shoes a visit and see what I can find out. Looks like the Braffa shoe deal may have gone south. Dead end? Maybe not. I'm not giving up on this one yet. I got an itch. Just don't get yourself killed trying to scratch it. Guys, somebody's doxing DedSec members. What? Where? I found a payphone with some hardware attached to it. It just started ringing, and there was a recorded message on the other end. It, it said a few names, Stanley L. something, uh, Sleek Street, Nabil Azari. Awazi. Yeah, I know Sleek. Damn, this is a real threat. We need to shut this down fast. Anybody have any ideas? Should we take the hardware? No, leave it for now. I can put together a man-in-the-middle attack to track the other end of the call, but the more we can cover, the better. Yeah, I'll see if I can find more hacked payphones. Damn, I missed the deal. There's nobody here. Maybe there never was a deal. Nah, it looks like something bad went down. This is a crime scene. I'm gonna look closer.
What the fuck? Holy... What? This is Aiden Pierce's work. What are you talking about? I found bodies, shoes and Bradford. Aiden Pierce is taking them down and I'm in the middle of it. The Chicago vigilante? That's him. He's heading into a trap. Gotta help him. Looks like Pierce really got himself into a jam. Don't just tell us about it, help him!
Yeah, baby, I'm out of here. Guys, I just did a tag team with Aiden Pierce. You're kidding me. Nah, it was definitely him. The Fox. Did you get a picture? No, I don't want him coming after me. The man is intimidating as hell. Took down mafia, street gangs. He stopped a human trafficking operation by himself. I thought you said it was a tag team. Hey, he'd be dead if it wasn't for me. Uh-huh. What? I'm, I'm serious. I saved his bacon. Shit, shit, shit. Shit, 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 shit. Hey, man, shit, what's, what, hey, what's going on? I was looking at our numbers, how many people downloaded our app, how much processing power we had available, and that's when I saw it. It, what, it, what? A chunk of our followers and bots came from inactive or dead invite accounts. Hey, wait, so someone used a social media site to boost our numbers? Who? And how many fucking accounts, I man? don't know who, but it came from inside invite. Someone with admin access, I'm sure of that. As for how many... Sorry, me. sorry, I didn't check. It's, no, it's all my fault. I didn't check. Josh, no, I didn't not check. You know, maybe someone inside invite is a fan. Yeah, or maybe we're getting set up to get fucked. Checked. I we need to find out. Marcus, find your way inside. I should have just Josh, checked. Josh, it's not your fault, okay? Look, we all saw the numbers. You're the only one who caught it. You did good. You did good. Huh?
What's happening? Bad, I guess. <laughs> Sending you the flagged accounts. Use the CEO's computer, Mary Catskill. She's on vacation, so her office should be empty. If you've got an appointment at Invite, I wouldn't bother. Most of the staff have gone on some emergency retreat. Not me, though. No. I have to stay behind with the rest of IT in case someone can't share a picture of that deep-fried foie gras hamburger they just ordered. Sorry, sorry. You don't care. You just came all this way to be as disappointed as the rest of us. que no traía pantalones puestos. Se negaba a salir de la cocina y yo me negaba a ceder. Estoy saliendo con alguien. <risa> acting up. I unlocked the elevator. Heading there now. Heading up. I'm gonna get us some answers. Good luck, Marcus. We're with you. I'm in. Trying to figure out who boosted our numbers. Whoa, whoa. What happened? The flag clients just vanished. We lost the bots. What did you do? Nothing. This isn't me. I... Marcus, is this a bad time? Sort of feels like a bad time. And she drinks it with ice. Uh, 
I don't really need to introduce myself, do I? I know who you are. That night at the beach, man, I knew you looked fucking familiar. You know, Venus must have been in retrograde or some bullshit, because I think it was fate that I was in the night that you hacked into our system. I had to meet you, and there you were, pissing on your sneakers. All brains and no aim. What's Bloom's CTO doing in the office of the CEO of Invite? And why'd you boost our numbers? Uh, this is the part where you offer me a six-figure salary? <laughs> no, fuck no. No, no, no. You could coat circles around most of my programmers, no, see, I can't pitch uh, CTOS 2.0 as a state-of-the-art security system and then hire someone that's on the no-fly list. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I just came here to have a drink. But hey, if you want to have a drink and a dance, I'm in. Oh, you think it's a fucking joke? You got everybody eating out your fucking hands thinking the system's bulletproof? You can't see the people you're stepping on. Guess what, Marcus? Guess what? The people want to be told who is good and who is bad. They don't care how it works, only that it does. But it doesn't fucking work. A few fucking civilian casualties is the cost you have to pay for the betterment of the world. You're fighting a war no one gives a shit about. Now they're just swimming upstream right into the grizzly's mouth. So why'd you prop up dead sex numbers? Because no one in Silicon Valley could throw a proper punch. That, and you're a great investment. But you're so aggressive, so indignant. You frightened the rest of Silicon Valley right to my doorstep. You used us to sell CTOS 2.0 to them. It was the ultimate deterrent against hackers like you. And now, everyone needs my protection. So, here it is, Marcus. Your record is back on file. Your backdoor access is plugged. And those bots I gave you, they're gone. Oh, 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 and... There's a warrant out for your arrest. For hacking, corporate espionage, and breaking and entering. It's okay. I was done with it anyway. Fuck. Units be advised. Here's a free of an eyewitness. Suspect is described as follows. We have you surrounded. Come out with your hands up. Fuck. I got played. Fuck. Cops are surrounding the building. Get out of there. Fuck. Marcus, they're surrounding the building. Get pissed later and get out now. I repeat, come out with your hands up. All right, all right. I'm, I'm gone. We can see our guy. I got played. Fuck. Cops are surrounding the building. Get out of there. Fuck. Marcus, they're surrounding the building. Get pissed later and get out now. I repeat, come out with your hands up. All right, all right, I'm, I'm gone.
Marcus, it's getting too hot out there for you. Come back. We'll figure this out together. Thank <laughs> you. 